Thank you so much. So uh, as, as I was saying, uh, this is our first round table that uh, we have with our new project that is Melia Pro Labs. As you, can, uh, as you know, you are right now a member of our community, our United States community. And we're going to be doing so proactive and we're going to have a lot of activities, webinars, table. So today we have, uh, we're going to present our uh, Paradiso Los Cabos. We're going to meet our general manager, which is Jaime Piedras. Paradiso Los Cabos, as you may know, is part of leading hotel of the world. And the GM, Jaime Piedras, he has been in the company with us for 22 years in Melia Hotels International in different destinations, such as Dominican Republic, Shanghai, Los Cabos, in, in Puerto Rico, in Bali, as well in Spain. And what we're going to talk a little bit uh, right now is to get to know or uh, to involve you more in our beautiful Paradiso Los Cabos. As you know, Paradiso Los Cabos is kind of a, a brand new property. This is situated in Mexico, in the Pacific, in the Pacific coast of Mexico. So uh, let's welcome Jaime Piedras, our GM. Thank you very much, Rodolfo. Good morning, everyone. Good morning from uh, Los Cabos, sunny day. Um, um, I'm going to assume that uh, nobody knows really where is Los Cabos and uh, what is uh, the Paradiso in Los Cabos, so uh, I can uh, explain a little bit. Um, for those uh, who know a little bit, the, the, the location of, of Cabos is uh, really on the south, on the southest part of uh, Baja California Sur. Uh, we are really on the west coast of, uh, of uh, Mexico. And as you can see in this map that uh, Rodolfo is showing us, Paradiso Los Cabos is just in the middle between San Jose del Cabo and Cabo San Lucas. The airport is in San Jose del Cabo, the international airport. And then from there, it's around 15 minutes, 1, 5, 15, 15 minutes to Los Cabos, to Paradiso Los Cabos. Um, Los Cabos is a destination that really started around uh, 35 years ago. And Paradiso Los Cabos used to be the former... Melia Cabo Real. Now here, it's, uh, it's, you can see the property. It's a beautiful property, part of leading hotels of the world. Um, 30 years ago, it started as Melia eh, Cabo Real. And uh, uh, as you can see, as a 30-year-old hotel, it's very well located. It's one of the best locations we have in Cabo. Um, it's one of the first hotels of, of the destination. After three years ago, after Odile, um, the hotel was uh, totally renovated and uh, we upgraded as a company the hotel to the Paradisus brand and uh, the Paradisus Los Cabos uh, was here. So as you can see in the, in the photo, we have a really front beach hotel, a U shape, it's a 350 room hotel. So for those who know the Paradisus brand, this is a small Paradisus in some, some way, okay? Um, it's 350 rooms. By the way, Cabos is a, a, a luxury destination where you can uh, have around 60%, 65% occupancy average during the year. So also, this is a thing that helps us to really be a very luxury property. And uh, that's why also leading hotels of the world uh, was really interested with us uh, and we became part of the family. So we have seven restaurants and uh, uh, also a convention center, really, really important to, in terms of the mice. In terms of the restaurants, um, as uh, you can see, seven restaurants for 350 rooms and 65% occupancy average, it's really uh, well, uh, the size of the hotel is really uh, under control. So um, you don't need really to, to be worried about the, 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 the reservation in the restaurants and the option you have during the, during the day and night. Um, and then for, for the meeting spaces, uh, you can see also um, we have uh, almost 50% of inventory in king size bed and uh, the other 50% in, in queen size. Um, the rooms, as you can see, really modern, um, minimalist, I like to say, um, almost, as you can see in the photo, no paper, paperless, everything is, uh, uh, with our APP of, uh, of Melia and also with, uh, with uh, the smart TV. And um, we have around 60% of the inventory, almost 70 uh, face, not facing, but you can see the, the C like in this photo. And also we have around 15% of the inventory of the hotel, really front, front C. Um, 
as Paradisus brand, we have our royal service um, uh, attribute, uh, family concierge, and also the regular uh, Paradisus uh, rooms. This room that we have in the photo, these are the rooms that swim ups. We have uh, uh, around 30, 30 rooms uh, swim up, all in royal service area. And this is a real uh, photo about the team, about the, 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 the view, and also the, the, the pool access of our royal service. And we have around 30. As you know, royal service is an area only for adults. This is another photo to see really that is a, a really um, uh, swim up. And the decoration of the hotel as a brand new hotel that was uh, really reform, uh, refurbished uh, uh, only three years ago. Every single detail of the hotel has been designed for the hotel. This photo is one of the restaurants, it's our gastro bar. Um, and the lamps, the chairs, tables, every single thing has been designed for the hotel. So if uh, you are an uh, Art Deco fan, when you go to the hotel, you really, really enjoy every single part of this, of this beautiful property. Um, so, um, as I said, uh, also we have this sky bar. It's, all, 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 it's another uh, key selling point for our hotel. Um, it's a three-store uh, uh, building. This is the, the top one, the sky bar. Also, we can do here uh, parties. Uh, we have uh, at night our bar. Also, we can use it if you need it uh, for the weddings and uh, even for some groups had, are, and are used it to, to do the, a meeting. So we can also do out, outdoor meetings there. Um, downstairs is the, is the Gabby Beach, where you can have uh, also the beach area and all food and beverage. This is uh, our cocoa bar. And uh, a very important thing of this property, a very important thing of this property, it's um, uh, that we have our, one of the few swimmable beaches of all Cabos, okay? And as I said, because of very old, it's a 30 year old hotel. We have the, one of the best locations and in Cabos, the, the sea is really beautiful, but it's quite dangerous to swim because it's too deep. You can see whales from the hotel in the whales uh, season. Um, that means that in, in a few meters, then go down and deep very, very fast. But in, in Paradisus Los Cabos, we have one of our part of, the, of our beach. It's uh, covered, so you can really have a, a, a safety swim even with kids. So it's a really, really key selling point for Cabos uh, in, 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 this in this case. And if you are interested in the mice area, we have uh, um, our ballroom, we have... Uh, uh, another four uh, meetings uh, and as you can see it's really wide and open and you can se uh, put different sections and it's really uh, with the top uh, technology that we have now so you can do really uh, really really good things and good uh, uh, productions in our hotel. Wedding area, and uh, this is another area of the hotel. As again, all the front, all the sea. This is one of the spots where you can see even whales when you are there during the day, and it's spectacular. It is a really beautiful hotel, and really uh, a very, very uh, looking for for uh, uh, the very high end guests too. And I think that for this round table, what we want is to really talk to you and that you are able to talk to me and to Rodolfo. Um, we would like to be there with you, um, uh, that, uh, to meet everyone, but I know that it's important for you and also for me as a GM to have direct contact with you and uh, to let me know what is going on. I can tell you what is going on. And uh, yes, uh, anything you need, please, now is, is your time. It's our time. Thank you, Rodolfo. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you for all this information and for this image about Paradiso Los Cabos. What we're going to do right now, guys, on your left left side uh, of your of your screen, you have a question box where you can type a question to all of us, and we can start to read one of your questions. I don't know if Natalie or Adam already saw any question from our agents that we want to to discuss and to question. Uh, Jaime, so he, he can answer for us any question. We're waiting for your question, guys. So far, we have very good comments. Milan says, I love this hotel, beautiful, and the food is so great. And 
You are so right, Milan. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Any question, uh, guys, that you want to, to ask to, to Mr. Jaime or <clears throat> any question that you uh, are uh, in regards to the COVID that we have right now, uh, what measures we are taking as a hotel? Jaime, do you want to ask, answer to all the audience which measure we're taking before COVID? Because as you know, our property is member of the leading hotel of the world, so we have to be really safe and, 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 and take care of the health of our clients. But if you if you can let us know what measure we was taking before and which new measure saying like that we're going to take right now for our clients once we open the hotel again. Yeah, and also can see some of the questions that, uh, for example, about the buffets. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, these times are very uncertain. Um, everybody's now reading and sending information about what, what is going to be um, our industry after this COVID, that is virus. But one thing we need to have in mind that is very, very important is before the virus, every single hotel need to have every, a, a very high standards in F&B, for example, uh, because we are taking responsibility of all our guests, even all guests, kids. Every single time we, we prepare food, for example, we are taking the risk to serve this food and to prepare it in the best um, uh, possible way because all the, the health of our guests and even the health of our employees are, in that case, in my hands. As a general manager, as you may know, I'm the fully responsible of everybody in the hotel, employees and also guests. And as you can imagine, I'm taking very seriously as a GM uh, all these matters. So from now on, what we need to think about is what we are going to take every extra measure in terms of this virus ex um, effect. Of course, one of the things we're going to have to be to keep a uh, low occupancy at the beginning. Is not to, is un uh, unfortunately it's going to be quite easy to do, but uh, I I think that one of the things that they are going to tell us to do is not to have very very high occupancies at the beginning, so we have no very crowded hotels. Um, for sure, we are going to have uh, uh, temperature control to our all, all our uh, employees. We are doing already now. Very um, soon. Hello. I'm afraid. If you can put the mute, please. Thank you. So, um, uh, as as I was saying, we are taking now with the the, the staff we are having in the hotel right now. It's a minimum staff to take to 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 keep the hotel. Uh, under control, we are uh, taking the temperature every single day to check that they are okay, to check that they, they have no fever. Um, for sure, we will have to make very high control in terms of uh, the distance. We have to have uh, between uh, guests in the check-in, uh, in the pool, uh, uh, in the restaurants at the beginning. Uh, about the buffets, that we are talking about the buffets, it depends of every single hotel how is the buffet layout? If you have very crowded whole, uh, buffet or not, I don't believe that the buffets are going to be out of the hotel. What I believe is going to be a, a change of mind. It means that the buffet is going to be more individual portions, okay? Not to take the food from everyone. And for sure, guests are not going to be allowed to take the food. I'm sure that the guests need to wait that the cook that is going to be prepared with the mask, with everything, going to sell you the food. That means it's not going to be uh, every single guest touching and, uh, and uh, doing the, this uh, cross um, uh, things during in the buffet. Saying that, if you see, many of uh, high-end hotels uh, are doing already almost this before even the virus. Some of the very high-end high -end hotels, you don't can you cannot take any more the dessert, so they, they serve it to you. It's much it's, it's cleaner. Um, many high-end hotels has in the buffet um, the show cooking, so they can do it at, at the moment for you, and this really nothing waiting for you in the in the in the buffet. I believe, I really believe that the, for the high-end hotels, luxury and high-end is going to be quite easy to adapt the buffet uh, point. Uh, I don't think that uh, the four stars and below hotels that they are really uh, struggling with costs 
in terms of F&B and in terms of all-inclusive. We will see how, how we are going to do it in that kind of hotel because we need to keep the balance because uh, if the costs go very high in terms to adapt the hotel to the new uh, era, then the price point is going to be quite uh, uh, difficult to, 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 to achieve. Um, so, yes, uh, let's see um, what we are um, in the next uh, few weeks. Also, we are, as a Cabo's property, also we are very looking for the California government, Canadian government, to see what they are going to tell us to do in the hotel in order to receive, to be able to receive uh, American and, and Canadian citizens. And also our company, Melia Hotel International, in Europe, they are also preparing all the message we are going to take in our hotels in Europe that we are going to take here for sure to keep as safe as possible um, our properties and our guests and, and, and employees. Uh, Jaime, there's a question from Donna Carlin of Stepping Out Travel. Any anticipation of opening date approximately? Okay. Um, Today in Cabos, in Baja California Sur, in Mexico, we are close until the 30, um, uh, the official date is 30th of, of April, but of course it's going to be extended until the end of May. So right now, today, 20th of April, I can tell you that I believe uh, no before middle of June. I cross fingers, but middle of June could, could be. It depends also if people can come. We have on the books right now, Paradiso Los Cabos, 25% occupancy. We have 25% of our inventory already reserved. Our guests are telling us, let's see. Of course, if they cancel, we can give back the money or we can change with no cancellation fee um, the reservation. But it's some people waiting for what is going on. So um, let's see. Right now, I don't see really before middle of June. Uh, another question was... Uh... Where is Paradiso Los Cabos located exactly? Is it in Cabo San Lucas or is it in San Jose del Cabo? We, I assume that this person ha, has not seen the, the, the map. We are just, San Jose del Cabo is where uh, uh, the airport is and San Lucas is in the other side. We are just, not in the middle, we are closer to San Jose. Um, uh, if you see uh, San Jose and San Lucas as a... Um, 100%, we are 30% close to, to San Jose and 70% close to, to San Lucas, okay? Just in the corridor where all the best uh, hotels and the, the best located hotels are. Uh, Jaime, we have a question from uh, Gail Lee, who's asking, how is your staff being taken care of during this time? Is the government offering any emergency fund like in Canada or Milia continuing to pay them? Like uh, we're worried about the employees and uh, make sure that they're okay during this time uh, being at home. We are, we, uh, unfortunately, uh, in terms of government, Mexico government is not doing right now any help, any support. Every single day, every single week, is, is, it's, it's changing. In terms of Melia, we are having, we are keeping our our employees, um, and we are supporting them. Okay, we have uh, done a, a special um, agreement with them, and also with the uh, um, how do you say in English? Um, uh, Los sindicatos. Rodolfo, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? The union. The union, sorry. So we have made a deal with the union and with our employees. So I staying at home. We are uh, paying uh, 50% of, of, of the salary unless they are not giving, are, uh, achieving the minimum salary. So we pay the minimum salary. And uh, we are giving also supporting them with, uh, with the food and, uh, and, uh, and beverage from the hotel. So... Uh, and part of our team is ha uh, it's working in the hotel to keep security, engineering, some uh, housekeeping. And uh, yeah, we are supporting them. Melia is supporting them. Um, not only in Cabo, it's in all, all around the world. As you can imagine, we have 390 hotels. If we, uh, and I would like to be really honest. Um, in the human side, we need to support them. But also we need to support them in the business side. You can imagine when we open, we, we, we need to, we, we cannot hire everyone again. It's all, and in places like in Cabos, it's quite difficult. Um, so in both sides, the human side and the business side, I don't believe 
any hotel will 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 kick really out all these employees. Is is uh, for me it's, from my side is uh, one way or the other is a really really big mistake. Uh, another question is uh, saying from Angie Brevetti. Lots of people are ready to travel, but the question is: Are prices going to be any cheaper? Okay, it depends. Now it's Jaime Piedra's uh, opinion, eh? GM of Pacabos, but I give my own opinion. Um, it depends how, the, um, from my side, to really go down with the rates is not the best uh, thing. Because as you can imagine, as uh, a travel agents, if we drop the rates, for sure we will drop also our costs. And that means less service, less... Uh, less uh, uh, if I'm being quality. Commission as well, commission as well for the travel agents. Yes. So I assume for my side and in Cabos that we are really high end destination. I would prefer to keep as as much as possible the, the, the rate that we have before, as much as possible. And in order to really keep a new, uh, to try to move the guest, offer free upgrades um, to the, uh, you can pay for the, the, the basic room and we can give it one or two or even three upgrades at really at the beginning. Um, we can offer also um, added values. You pay the room and also we can include it. And we need to think about it. Some spa treatment, some uh, wines and extra beverages that are not included in the list. Very, very good ones included. Maybe include why not if you are a couple, a romantic dinner in, in the beach, in the raid. So we will try to do, uh, let's see how the market and you tell us what to do. But uh, I will really think twice before I start to say drop the rates, drop the rates, drop the rates, drop the rates, because then the five star luxury drop the rates, so the five need to drop also, the four need to drop because everybody's so. Uh, at the end, uh, uh, the hotel need to 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 have any margin to really do uh, their business. So, but again, let's see, let's see. And something that I want to add, Jaime, as well is that. Keep in mind, guys, that always uh, in, not in Mendia, I believe in all the hotels, we are always running with promotion. So even though that COVID come to, to the table or come to our life, the hotels are all, always are running with different promotions, with EDBs, with summer promotion, fall promotions, with kids-free promotion to travel. Sometimes we have a, a really aggressive promotion with the fee for six nights for free. So I really recommend you once we open and once the market opens again in all sense, the airlines company, the hotels companies to visit your your tour operator or the channel or Media Pro channel where you make your bookings and, and start to search about the promotion that we're going to have running for, for the hotel. Obviously, everything is going to be based on the demand. I believe so. Here, Angie is, uh, is making a question as well that many people in, in all countries lose their job, but they really want to go on vacation after this 45 or month that we has been locked down in our house and for sure you, you know we all want to go to vacation and maybe some of them we don't going to have the the money to afford a, a, a vacation but what i recommend for you guys is that once everything open again go and check your different channels check the promotion because for sure if the demand is there we're going to have to adjust ourselves to the demand but keep in mind that Paradisus and Melia Hotels always have an, always have running an amazing promotions with add values, free nights, or aggressive discounts. So Paradisus Los Cabos will be part of that as well for our sales strategy. Keeping in mind that it's a look, uh, leading hotel of the world. So also it depends on the kind of guests you are willing to send us. Um, we need to be also be sure that this guest is, uh, we are going to really achieve their expectations. But on the other hand, uh, at the beginning, uh, also feel free uh, with Rodolfo, with myself, if you have really some families willing to come to Cabos, to Paradisus. At the beginning, we, we, we will try to do uh, as much as possible to really tailor-made uh, for some groups, for you, from families, what you need. Um, but in the middle and long term, uh, I think that we need to keep in mind that um, I prefer as a hotelier to suffer a little bit or suffer in terms of occupancy at the beginning but try to try to keep my promise of service so the guests that are willing to come to really receive um, a good service. Also, um, as an advice to everyone in this uh, call today, we need to really be careful with kind of services we are going to be offering as a hotelier 
worldwide when we offer a rate. Keep in mind that. Don't be, uh, don't assume very easy that if after the COVID, after the first week of uh, reservations, you receive very good rates for everyone. Keep in mind that you need to ask, are you keeping your services as before? Or because me, could be a tricky point from the hotelier, and I'm a hotelier, but it could be the tricky point at the beginning for the very good rates at the beginning. You go to the hotel and then many, many, many things are not uh, as, as it's used to. So then what is the point? We have another question here, Jaime, about uh, uh, Gail is asking about our amazing cash incentive uh, program. Yeah. Of course, the cash incentive program is still going, Gail, with any, uh, any of the bookings that our agents made to any of our hotels here in America, in our America region. Actually, internally, that is something that I, I don't want to go that deep because we're uh, working internally, but internally we are uh, operating the, the program. Uh, it, once everything comes back, again, we're going to share with all of you guys the operate that we have, that we're going to have in our cash incentive program, but something just like a little uh, preview that I can give you about the, the program is that it's going to be cash incentive and as well we're going to add some other values that maybe you can exchange for service for personal service for you or for airline uh, to or to gain uh, airline points with uh, different airline company that we have an agreement or uh, or different gift cards or thing like that so we're gonna we are internally operating our cash incentives gonna be an amazing amazing uh, uh, program an amazing incentive program that we're going to uh, give an offer to our travel agent. But so far, yes. Answering your question, yes. The cash incentive program is still going. Also, I am reading here in the chat one of the questions that is, if I'm considering fam trip or as a hotel, I'm talking now Paraiso Los Cabos, if we are considering fam trips to travel advisor during the 25% occupancy, I consider I consider all the time the fam trips even if, if I'm 90% occupancy. So um, I really believe that is better to show my hotel, I show you how good we are in our hotel. So I cannot, I, I don't need to tell you, I'm going to travel and tell you how good we are. So you can experience it, you can give me feedback, uh, you can tell me, and then you you feel more confident to, in order to sell it. So from my, from Paradiso Los Cabos point of, of view, and now Rodolfo will tell uh, in terms of Melia, but Paradiso Los Cabos and also, as I tell you, if you know the brand, but you don't know the hotel, we have some difference. Even we are paradisos because we are the only leading hotel. So why? And the Cabo uh, destination. So um, as soon as we can travel, Paradisos Cabos is really, and all my team uh, knows my, the, the, my, my mindset. Every single time you want to travel as an advisor to know the hotel, you are more than welcome. It, it, will, it will help me a lot. In Melia Hotels International, guys, we consider that the best way to promote our hotel is to invite our travel agents, our partners, to go and experience the hotel because once the, the partners experience the hotel, so the travel agents experience the hotel is where we start to see grow our bookings. So yeah, for sure, you can contact always myself or your BDM from your, from your territory. And continually, we are doing some site inspection and as well, do, we are doing something that we call the... Uh, like a training that we invite the travel agents as well to the hotel and plus that have a free time to enjoy the hotel as well. Give it, we give or we provide to the travel agents a little training uh, to become more expert to sell our properties. So we have more questions. I'm so excited because the chat is so proactive. It's so active, the chat. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Angie. Angie said that we're the only ones that really uh, support the travel agents. We believe that our business comes from the travel lane. So we love and we thank you guys to always support us and to always keep promoting our properties. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. can, I, can I ask a question? Uh, in regards to the uh, leading hotels of the world, how long have you been in leading and what does it entail exactly? Um, we have been in leading for two years already. Um, um, after the first year of operation, almost finishing the first year, we ask uh, uh, to leading to come to visit the hotel and uh, uh, they really like it and the kind of hotel and also the destination. We have in Cabo some other two leading hotels. Uh, we have no Nobu Hotel just opened two years ago and uh, Marquis is our close uh, next door hotel. So um, also we have uh, in Cabos, we have uh, Rosewood Hotels, we have uh, Gran Velas Hotels, 
Um, so uh, GW Marriott Cabos is a very high-end destination. So um, we feel at the beginning like Asparadisus is a high-end uh, brand, but also we need to tell to the market and the West Coast market uh, in particular that we are an, in that league. So that's why we make the, this partnership with the leading hotels and leading hotels make the partnership with us. So, uh, um, and also you will see that Paradisus Los Cabos is, uh, uh, in terms of rate, is higher than the other Paradisus. And as I said, for two main reasons, Cabos is the most expensive destinations of Mexico. And second, Paradisus is uh, for the the, um, the kind of, the kind of hotel, even if it's an all inclusive, it's not a massive all inclusive. It's really important to let you know. So the guests that in the high end they are not very used to the all inclusive, or they believe the all inclusive sometimes is, is not matching the high end. Uh, Paradiso Los Cabos is doing. So also that's why I I will be more than glad to welcome you to see really the quality of food service, the kind of hotel we are that even we are all inclusive. This is not, by the way, it's not, from my side, it's not like a, a selling point to be an all inclusive. It's a luxury hotel, very well located, amazing destination. And by the way, it's an all inclusive. It's the way, the way we operate the hotel. Well, uh, I, I, this is not a question, it's a comment. Uh, I've been to the Paradisos Los Cabos, and uh, the quality is uh, really high, high standard, as Jaime said about the all-inclusive. People think it's a little diluted, but really and truly it's not. The, the, the destination on a whole, the Paradisos Los Cabos, is majestic even to look at. It's, it's really a high quality. The restaurants are really, really top-notch. All of them, I've, I dined in every single one. Um, the food is very fresh, lovely, and especially the uh, i had the concept before i went there about the uh the swimmable beaches i actually went in the water it's, it's pure in in the cove that we have a section for the swimmable beach is very safe water was lovely and um i i endorse it i and i can't wait to bring back a fam to your beautiful hotel in the coming months thank you great thank you Any other questions, uh, audience? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, well, everything, well, we have here another question, Jaime, so you can help us to answer that. They are ask, asking if once we open the hotel, we're going to open all the service. That means all the restaurants, spa, everything. It, de oh, um, it depends um, one of, uh, of the government rules, local ones, and uh, as I said, the... the uh, how how the situation is when we are op uh, free to open um, restaurants? I don't believe that we will open all at the same time. But what we will do is to, as when we are in low occupancy, we will open a couple of them every night, and then we turn it. So during the exp during, during your stay, you can experience all the all the different options. If not, we will all even offer different menus at the same spot, so you can have all the different foods and uh, cuisines we have in the hotel. For sure, we will keep uh, low occupancy in the restaurants, at least uh, 1.5 uh, meters uh, uh, or two meters between tables and all this type of uh, uh, message we need to take. But for sure, at the beginning also, um, we will have uh, low occupancy when we open, so it will be easy in some point to keep really the the distance in, in every single uh, moment, or even in the my segment. We are adjusting our, at, at the short term, we are adjusting at our capi capacities in our, in our meeting rooms because some of, some groups that we already have confirmed for 2021, we are, uh, they are requiring us to move the, to put the setup with a one meter between people, uh, between persons. So that means that you need to readjust your maximum capacity of, of, of your meeting rooms for, for, from now on. Perfect. Awesome. Really, really good information from our agents. Thank you so much. So, um, Natalie, Adam, any other questions from our audience? Ah, here we have another one. Uh, 
which one is going to be the idea to management the pool area? Um, again, I try. Um, I'm, I'm. I think it's really too soon how how we are going to do it because here in 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 the hotel industry or in every industry we have common sense. One point. Um, what we want to do to keep our guests as safe as possible, and then what the government government ask you to do even is good or not, because you need to do it if you want to be able to open your hotel. So um, I believe that for sure we need to keep uh, distance in, uh, in, in the pool. Um, as I said, the low occupancy or under control occupancy is going to be key, not to be crowded in the pool. Um, in the other hand, the pool, as you, say, uh, as you may know, when you, you enter in the pool, in the water, it with chlorine. That means that it's by nature it, a, a, a hotel pool. It's uh, um, uh, as I said, it's clean and it's disinfecting you because it's chlorine. Okay, and we need to put it so we can uh, work on it. Um, in terms of food and beverage, I'm afraid we will be at the short term not able to serve food and beverage in the pool as Paraisos Los Cabos do uh, in terms of safety. So we will ask to the guests to go and take the food so that is less contact between guests and also less contact between guests and employees but in the short term so let's see how is going to be developed this this point but also from my point in terms of Paraiso Los Cabos our pool is quite big our landscape is quite big for the, the size we have so also it's a good thing we are not vertical hotel it's a, it's a U shape as you, say, as you see in the, in the photo so for those hotels with low density, density means you have a lot of square meters or square feet per guest, it's going to be easier to keep this distance. Hotels with really massive hotels with this uh, density quite packed, let's see how to do the challenge. But uh, in terms of, of Paradisus of Cabos, I can tell you that's going to be um, easier to keep this uh, uh, profile of distance profile of um, you feel that it's going to be really um, safe uh, for the first weeks or months of, of operation. I know we have another question here that is kind of a general question. Uh, they're asking if we know how many COVID cases are in Los Cabos as a destination. Uh, co yes, we have as, as, as destination confirmed 35 cases as confirmed for the government. We have uh, um, two, two hospitals, two uh, uh, public hospitals, big ones, ready for the, the COVID, and the private ones also supporting them. I'm already in contact with the uh, with, uh, uh, hotel association that is in contact with the governor of, of Baja California. And uh, in Cabos right now, um, it's 35 confirmed. Another 200 under check. Let's see, they have symptoms that we, they need to know if they have it or not. But as, as, as you may know, we have a very low density in Cabos. We have, uh, East Baja California Sur is the second uh, lowest populated state of Mexico. So, and now with all the hotels, all the hotels closed, no restaurants, no excursions. So we have also uh, locked down the, the the destination three weeks ago. So that that means that really be able to stop it. Um, let's see how it's going to be developing in the rest of the country. Uh, but in Cabos, is really, really under control. Kids at home. Uh, our quarantine is not mandatory, but uh, everybody's at home because we, you, don't, you don't have nothing to do. You don't have... Uh, beaches are closed officially. In, in Cabos, restaurant closed, hotel closed. So you run uh, gyms, everything is closed by, by law. So even you are able to go uh, out, uh, you, don't have, you don't have nothing to do. And also the police is telling you that it's better to stay at home and the people is, is keeping in, in, at home. And we are telling to our staff also to stay at home. It's safer for, that, for, for, for them. So I believe, let's see, I'm not a doctor, but I believe that Cabos will be, if we continue like this, will be able to, to keep it as low as possible. Perfect. Well, uh, 
Thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you, Jaime. Thank you for your time, Jaime. Thank you for talking about a little bit, uh, talking a little bit about your property, which is amazing. Uh, Paradiso Los Cabos is, I believe, is one of the best options that we have and the destination have for our customer traveling to, to Los Cabos as a destination. It's really well located, as Jaime already mentioned, have a lot of uh, key selling points that you can share with your clients. Is uh, it's an all-inclusive property, a luxury all-inclusive property, member of the leading hotel of the world. So thank you so much, Jaime, for your time. Thank, thank you, you so very much, much travel agents, for your time as well to get connected with us. Keep in mind, please go and visit our tra our Melia Pro Travel Community USA on Facebook because during this week, next week, and the following weeks, we're going to have a lot of, a lot of activities uh, for you guys, we're going to have webinars. We're going to have more roundtables. You're going to meet more uh, GM from our different uh, properties. Keep in mind that we have properties in Mexico, in Dominican Republic, in Jamaica, in Azul, and as well in Latin America as Colombia, uh, Buenos Aires, Brazil. So we're going to have a lot, a lot of information for you guys, a lot of really good information to help you to uh to get to know more of our brands and to help you to sell uh, the properties. And as well, we're going to have information and we're going to uh, be inviting some uh, celebrities from the industry to give some uh, seminars for you on how the COVID situation is doing, how the market is doing, how the travel industry is doing, what is the next step of the travel industry or where we think or these celebrity people think that the industry is going to, how it's going to change or how it's going to impact the new way to sell or the new way to travel to the different destinations. So go to those uh, Melia Pro Travel Communities uh, group page, uh, Facebook groups. So there you're going to see all the events that we're going to be posting for, uh, for you. And I hope that you can participate in each one of them. And any question you have, here I am. I'm going to put my email on the on the chat. And as well, you have Natalie and Adam uh uh, BDM's contacts or anything you need, you can send us an email and we're going to be more than glad to help you. Thank you so much and thank you, Jaime, again for your time. Thank you very much for everyone and we keep in touch and we keep safe, please. Thank you safe. all for coming. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.